Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, Jump Game 3. So you are given array of non-negative integers array, and you are initially positioned at start index of the array. When you are at index i, you can jump to i plus current value or i minus current value. And check if you can reach to any index with zero, value zero. Uh, notice that um, you cannot jump outside of the array at any time. So let's see the example. So you are given 4, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, 2, and the start position is 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And the uh, goal is index 0, 1, 2, 3. So um, uh, this example should be true because uh, there are two ways to reach to index uh, 3. So first of all, index 5 and the uh, we can go like a uh, index six or index four, and uh, in this case, in the first case, um, you know, we go to index four here, and then um, after that, uh, we can go like a uh, move or uh, jump forward or jump back again. But uh, jump forward, we will be out of bounds, so we jump back like a uh, one, two, three index 1 and then we can again jump forward or jump back and then if we jump back that is uh, like out of bounds so we jump forward then uh, 1 2 and then uh, we reach the index 3 here so that's why output is 2 and uh, in the second question um, yeah it's a uh, uh, almost same and uh, then uh, we can reach like index 3 Okay, so let me explain with this example. Like 4, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, 2, and the start is 5, index 5. And uh, actually, I solved the jump game and jump game 2 with uh, dynamic programming. So at first, when I read the, um, this question, um, I thought we can solve this question with dynamic programming, but uh, it turns out um, I realized that, um, okay, so if now we are uh, index 2 we can move we can jump forward or back uh, three times so one two three and then we have to uh, jump again like a jump forward or jump back so it, it works like a tree traversal so i saw i uh, so that's why i think um this problem uh we can solve this problem with like a breast passage or depth passage and uh from now on, so I explain um, solution with um, breast first search. So let's begin. So this is an input array, and uh, this is a start point. And uh, um, we uh, we prepare for like a visit it uh, with set because. Uh, um, there are two cases uh, we have to uh, finish the uh, program and the return false. So one is uh, out of bounds, and the second, um, we uh, come back to the same place because uh, let's think about uh, like a two, zero, two, and the start from zero. So in that case, um, we can jump like a move forward or move back but move back, move back is out of bounds so we have to move uh, jump forward so one, one two and then we have to jump forward or jump back again but jump if we jump forward we are out of bounds so we have to jump back one two and then again we have to um, jump forward or jump back, but jump back is out of bounds. We have to jump forward like one, two. Three. This is a kind of a um, like an infinity loop. So, but we have to finish the program. So that's why um, we have to uh, store like uh, the place we already visited. First of all, I forgot to initialize Q, and uh, now Q has index five. So let's begin. And uh, first of all, I pop 
um, value from Q, in this case 5, and then add uh, index 5 to uh, visit it, 5, and it takes index 5, there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So we can uh, jump forward once or jump back once, and uh, both sides are not out of bound. So add both index to Q, in this case 6 and 4, 6 and 4. And then again I pop um, the value from Q, in this case 4. And then add 4 to visit it. And uh, check index 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we find 3. So we can jump forward 3 times 1, 2, 3, and uh, it's out of bounds. So we cannot jump forward or jump back 3 times 1, 2, 3, and uh, at, we reach index 1. So in that case, add index 1 to Q and 1. And then again, um, pop the value from Q, in this case 1, and uh, add index 1 to visit, visit it, so 1, and uh, check the index 1. So we can jump forward twice or jump back twice, and uh, in this case, uh, if we uh, jump back twice, uh, it's out of bounds. And uh, jump forward, 1, 2, and then add, add current index to Q, in this case 0, 1, 2, 3, 3. And then uh, again, pop the uh, last value from Q, 3 in this case. And then, um, yeah, I didn't uh, check uh, any values, but uh, every time we pop the index from Q, of course we check the current value. And then if current value is 0, we should return true. So in this case, uh, finally we find, found a 0 value in this case, so that's why we should return true. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize Q with um, start index and uh, visit it. Initialized with set and uh, start looping while Q. Um, first of all, um, if Q has data, I pop the last value from Q and uh, index equal q dot pop and uh, I use current value a lot so I put current value to jump variable so array and uh, current index and then first of all if jump equal zero in that case we found the zero value so return true and uh, if current index not in visited in that case um, we are now uh, at new place so add um, current place to visit it so visit it add uh, current index and uh, if current index plus jump that means um, jump forward is less than length of input array in that case um, add next index to Q, so Q, and uh, this is a list, so I think append, and uh, I plus jump, and if I minus jump, that means jump back, is um, greater than or equal zero, in that case, um, add next index to Q, so Q append I minus jump. And uh, yeah, actually that's it. After that, return false. So if we find a uh, uh, zero value, uh, we can return here. So if we finish the, um, it, this iteration, uh, that means we didn't find a zero value. So that's why we should return false. So let me submit it. Looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be uh, order of n because uh, um, we visited each place once because uh, we have uh, visited. 
and uh, space complexity also order of n. So potentially I have to um, put all place into visit it. So this is a um, best fast search solution. And uh, okay, I'll show you um, depth fast search solution. Okay, so first of all, um, initialize visit it with set. And uh, I create an inner function, um, depth fast search, and uh, taking an index. And uh, first of all, uh, check the base case. If current index is um, greater than or equal um, length of input array, or current index is less than zero, or current index in visited, in the case return false, and uh, if um, current value equal zero, in the case return true, after that add current place to visit it, so add i, and then um, uh, check the next index so left get uh, not check get the left uh, next index so left is uh, left point is like a current index minus um, current value and the right equal current place plus current value and then um, check the and uh, call the depth fast search again and uh, left left case or uh, DFS and the right case so we, if we find the zero in one of them then return true if not return false and after that um, return depth fast search and uh, with start point i think that's it so let me submit it yeah looks good and uh, if we can uh, optimize the uh, space complexity uh, uh -huh. we don't have to use set uh, visit it if we can uh, change the input array so i'll show you how okay so modification is not big deal so we remove this visited and uh, so okay we have to change here so in this case um if we can change the input array so let's say so current value equal let's say uh, minus one in the case uh, return false so in the case um, we remove this visited and uh, so we are this program we calculate the next uh, index so after this after uh, calculation for next index um, so current update current value is minus one I think uh, this works so let me submit it yeah, looks good. And uh, yeah, we can successfully uh, improve the memory usage. Uh, I think a previous depth fast search is, should be like 8% or something. Now 27. So um, we can uh, apply the same uh, logic to uh, burst fast search, I think. And, uh, but I'm not sure we can change the input array uh, or not. So you need to discuss the uh, like a modification uh, with an uh, interviewer. So let me summarize step-by-step -step algorithm. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of Jump Game 3. Step 1, initialize Q variable with start index and a visited variable with set to prevent you uh, from visiting the same index. Step 2, start looping, pop the last value from Q variable and if the current value is 0, then return true. If not, check if the current index is a new place. If yes, add the current index to visited variable. 
and uh, check next indices where we can reach with jump forward and uh, jump back. If the next indices are not out of bounds, then add them to Q. Step 3. Return false if you finish looping in step 2. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.